Would you like an ice cream? Yes, please. Okay, here's one for you and one for me. Tell me, how does a fridge actually work? Well, a fridge is basically a machine that cools things by removing heat from the inside and transferring it to the outside. Imagine, this all happens in your kitchen and it needs electricity to do this. Cooling, and not only in households, is an important topic here in Serrañola in Spain. But instead of using conventional air conditioning, Carlos da Pena works with very energy efficient and innovative cooling technologies, which can even use heat to generate coal. He coordinates the energy infrastructure for the Parque del Alba, the science and technology park. This means that he's responsible for supplying the buildings with heat, power, and above all with refrigeration. My aim is to reduce energy consumption in buildings. I am in total agreement with Concerto's goals. For me, it's all about increasing energy efficiency and energy production systems. Energy consumption in buildings in southern countries means needing to think about energy efficient cooling. In Europe, the biggest cooling demand is from offices and industry buildings, especially in the south. Beside the hot summers every year in Europe, glass facades without proper shading and heat sources like computers, lights and other electronic devices generate a big need for cooling. The facilities here need a great deal of energy for both electricity and cooling, and that's what makes this a business opportunity for a poly-generation system. A highly efficient poly-generation plant supplies this area. Poly-generation plant means it generates electricity, heating and cooling together at a high total efficiency level. Here the poly-generation plant converts 85% of the primary energy because it even uses the exhaust gases to produce cold. As a result, the plant is much more efficient than plants which just produce electricity, since they only convert 40% of the primary energy. In Parque del Alba, as a first step, engineers connected the Synchrotron Research Center to the poly-generation energy production plant. 40,000 jobs will be created here. Since the synchrotron is close to the polygeneration plant, energy losses through transport are minimized. Let's go over to the ST4 plant. It's one of four polygeneration systems which supplies all of our energy. Right now, the polygeneration plant uses natural gas. But in the future, solar collectors will be used. Three refrigerating machines here produce cold. The most important one is the double effect absorption chiller, which produces cold very efficiently using the exhaust gases of the engines which produce power. Inside the chiller, cold is produced through a vaporizing process, which absorbs heat. One advantage is that waste gases get used directly without having to be converted to hot water or steam. This eliminates energy losses through energy conversion. Besides the absorption chiller, there is the compression chiller, which is used as a backup. Like a fridge, it makes cold using electricity. Specifically, this pipe here sends cold water at around 6 degrees to heat the exchanger you see there. And in that exchanger, you find the primary circuit for the cooling network. The cooling network then supplies chilled water to the synchrotron. Together, the chillers have a cooling capacity of over 13 megawatts. This amounts to the total sum of 6,000 household refrigerators. The polygeneration system we have here means a cut in the consumption of primary energy of about 35% compared with conventional systems. But besides active cooling, there are other ways to cool buildings, such as passive cooling measures. An example is the building in the Cordoba Street. Double glazing is used, temperature buffering trombi walls as part of a natural ventilation system are integrated into the construction and cool the building during the day. So, Alessandra, I think the best energy efficiency comes from saving energy. That means using less. And there, we still have a long way to go.